these lineups. Quit it. Gary Sanchez hit back-to-back -back home runs. What do you guys do? You bench him the following game. Previously, to Lewiski, a similar situation. What do you guys do next game? Oh, he's not playing. What are you guys doing? These analytic guys are going to kill the New York Yankees. And it's coming from the analytic guys because these lineups are ridiculous. It's like you guys are experimenting early in the season, see what works. The Red Sox are obviously going to have a down year this season. But don't be surprised if the Rays overtake the Yankees for first place. Kings of the AL East. Because these lineups, these decisions, are getting a bit ridiculous. Still, it's early in the season, but stop playing games. These are the New York Yankees. You skipped out on Harper. You skipped out on Machado. In my honest opinion, you guys created negative energy upon this team. I don't know if people believe in karma, but let's say if you're a Buddhist, which I'm not, let's say, for an example, you believe in that kind of stuff. You could argue that the Yankees created such an atmosphere upon their fan base. Any little thing could happen and or gets on the disabled list, injury list. And then you're going to have Yankees fans saying, oh, I told you so. This was expected. The Yankees front office created this atmosphere. So when you see Yankees fans going around saying, oh, yeah, you should have signed Machado or Harper, I don't really care. It's too late. But you're going to have Yankees fans going around saying this because the Yankees are losing and these lineups are freaking ridiculous. You sit Gary Sanchez out, who is obviously about to catch fire against the Detroit Tigers. You sit him out <laughs> against the Tigers. Is he injured too now? I wouldn't be surprised because it makes absolutely no sense that Gary Sanchez sat out this game. Also, why is LeMahieu batting 5th, batting 6th, batting 7th, batting 8th? Obviously, he's the best hitter on the New York Yankees. Obviously. Put him as your leadoff hitter. But who am I to know? Am I the 24 nerds that the Yankees have on their analytical staff? It's like they're running some sort of dictatorship that anything that they say goes. I mean, it's ridiculous at this point. You guys haven't even showcased that it works on a World Series level. And early in the season, you guys are looking ridiculous because every move that these analytical guys have come up with looks ridiculous and it doesn't work. You know what was beautiful? The lineup of opening day. Well, we can't say that anymore because Stanton went down, because Andujar went down. I mean, it's ridiculous at this point. You're going to sit Gary Sanchez out because it just makes absolutely zero sense. Dude was hitting bombs. People would argue, oh, he's not getting hits, whatever. Hit those bombs. I don't care. We all know the Yankees need to beat teams like the Tigers, the Orioles. This was their problem last season, and it looks like their problem yet again. They can't hit with runners in scoring position. It's the same old Yankees we've seen for over a year now. If you ask me, they didn't change anything. But, you know, the Yankees, they need to save money. They need to, you know, buy the Yes Network back from Disney, from Mickey Mouse. And, you know, they couldn't go out there and sign a big name to intimidate teams. That's the only reason why you go out there and get top free agents to intimidate teams by their name alone. So there, if you have listened to my previous videos, I clearly stated this, that if the Yankees start to flop, you're going to have a whole bunch of Yankees fans bring this up. Oh, the Yankees should have got Machado. The Yankees should have got Harper. In my opinion, like I said, it's too late. But yes, when Yankees fans say this, do not get annoyed. It was the atmosphere that the Yankees front office created from the get-go. They couldn't come out early and say, we're not going to get Machado and Harper. You're just going to have to wait for this book that's coming out. If they would have said this earlier in the season, not bring people to dinner for no apparent reason whatsoever, we wouldn't have this atmosphere right now. So Yankees fans, leave your honest opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about all these different lineups, these experimentations? What do you guys think about the analytical staff? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page, NY